on the last video, we finished installing our Raptor Fire PCB board without the light from RaptorFire.com. Now, in this video, I'm going to explain uh, what happens after you finish installing and what you have to do as a as an installer or as a modder who installing these. What is the next step? So basically, I'm going to be explaining the master modes. That's what we call it, the master modes. So what, if you install everything correctly, you should be looking at all four lights. So um, I'm going to turn it on. Uh, once the controller gets synced with the Xbox, you will have a green light on the LED4, a red light on the LED3, a red light on LED2, and of course your green light on LED1, which is the sync, which does not apply. I don't really call this green because uh, if you look at the Raptor 4, the green actually is a dark green. This is like a light green, well, almost like a yellow. But anyway, it will be a dark green on the bottom. <laughs> now, the LED 4 will represent yes, and LED 3 will represent no. So it's like your questions, error, and answer. And then the LED 2 represents the options. So right now, the LED 2 is lit up red. And I know the red is corresponding with the B, and the B is corresponding to drop shot. So basically, he's asking you drop shot. Would you like to have drop shot available to the customer? And you can answer yes and no. And of course, the color, I try to stay with the color code to close. So the green color will be answered with A, and the red color, which is the no, will be answered with B. And that's why I told you that the bare minimum, you have to have A and B hooked up because you need to be able to answer these questions. Um, another way if you don't want to hook him up is to have a wire run into the ground and just touch him uh, when they have the top off if you want to do that you can choose to do that as well so you don't have to hook everything up if you don't want to so so I'm gonna go ahead and answer the question so it's asking us if you want drop shot um, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes I would like to have drop shot at this time so you go ahead and hit yes now what happens when you hit yes the no light will go off letting you know that it's confirmed that it's yes and your LED2 will change to the next color, which when they happen, I'll go ahead and uh, explain what that means. So I'm going to go ahead and yes, and I do want drop shot. And they open my Xbox. Alright, so it went ahead and confirmed. LED3 turned off, letting you know that you did not choose no, you choose yes. And so now drop shot is available to the customer. Now my lights up here changed. It's not red anymore. Um, it, almost the same color as a Microsoft light, which is the like a light green. We can call it light green, but it, actually it's yellow. <laughs> so I will call it light green for this video, but it's technically supposed to be yellow, but we call it light green. Uh, and basically the light green or yellow, it's corresponding with the button yeah, Y, which is therefore corresponding to the option jitter. So it's asking if you want to have jitter. So the LED2 displays the options that you have available. LED4 is yes or no. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, LED4 for yes and LED3 for no. So there's the yes and no, red and green, and you answer it with A and B. So let's say uh, the customer does not want jitter. So um, this time I'm going to go ahead and say no. So when I hit no, the yes option will go away. It turns off, letting you know that you choose no. And your LED2 will change color, will go to the next option. So I'm going to go ahead and no on this option. My green light turned off and uh, confirmed that I said no. And basically my color changed now. Um, it's supposed to be white, but it looks like light blue. So we can call it white or light blue. And uh, But I will call it white for this video. Uh, in the instructions, should be light blue. With whatever we decide to choose, it doesn't really matter. Um, I know that option is for the right bumper. That's for the Gears of War Active Reload. So um, if the customer wants the Gears of War Active Reload, then you have to hit yes or no. On this option, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stress out, if they do want to get this option, we have to install the optional button. I mean, it's not recommended, but it will get really, uh, it will get, you know, in a way of keep hitting D-pad to cycle through the modes. And then you also be switching weapon in the game. And it really, I don't think the customer wants to do that. So I recommend giving the customer, if you do give them the active reload option, which is the white or light blue, go ahead and install the button because it makes it a lot easier. So everything's done through the button, which I explain on the later video. So I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and see yes, customer wants active reload. So I'm going to go ahead and hit A for yes. 
and I'll go ahead and confirm that. What's going to happen, the red light of course is going to turn off, letting you know that you did hit yes to confirm, and then the LED will cycle to the next option, which we'll see what color it is. Alright, so I hit yes, I accepted it. Now the color, it is dark blue. So it's like a bright dark blue. I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but when you're looking at it, you will see a lot better. And of course, the blue is corresponding to the X, and the X is corresponding to the option um, Fast Reload for Call of Duty. Fast Reload or uh, Rapid Reload, I don't know what they call it. Whatever they call it, Fast Reload or Active Reload. Active Reload is for Gears of War, Fast Reload and Rapid Reload for Call of Duty games. So I was asking if you want that option. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit No for this one. So I'm going to hit B for no, and what's going to happen is the green light will turn off letting you know that you choose the answer no. And your LED 2 cycles to the next option, and now it's purple or UV, and what purple is corresponding is with the right, uh, let me see, it will be right or left, it will be the left analog stick, and uh, the purple color for the left analog stick, what that means is that that option is corresponding with the sniper hold breath, and what that option does basically when you pull the trigger to aim, it will hold your breath for you. So you can ask, the, um, at this point, you can you know, know if you have your little note sheet available. It will ask if you have, the customer wants that option or not. I'll go ahead and say, yes, my customer wants this option. I'm going to go ahead and hit A to confirm. The red light would turn off with a no. That means that you answer yes. So the yes stays on, and the no will stay off to let you know that's the decision you make. So I'm going to go ahead and hit A. And uh, it confirmed my answer. Now we add the last color, and the last color is green, it's a dark green. You will know the difference between this green and this green, the Microsoft green, because the Microsoft green is almost like a yellow. And the dark green is corresponding with the A, and of course the A is the options tied into it is burst, from two round burst to five round burst, so two, three, four, and five round burst. Now this is a point of no return, this is the last option you have available to disable or enable if you do want to choose it. After this point, once you answer yes or no, there's no point of return. It means the controller has to be sent back for reprogramming. There's no way to get around it. So at this point, if you think that you have made a mistake or you're not sure what you did right or wrong, it's the point of no return. So you can go ahead and basically it's your last chance before you answer that question. Because once you answer, you cannot go back. It will save and um, uh, basically controller is ready to go. So I'll go ahead and hit yes on this one to show you what happens, and then I'll show you um, uh, what is the option if you do get to that point and you want to stop. So I'm going to go ahead yes to confirm, and that's it. All the lights turns off. So you have went through all your options. It's saved now, and those are the only options will be available to you that what you choose. And if you take the battery, even if you take the battery out. I put it back in, it will not give you that option anymore. It's basically it's done. It's point of no return. So now I'm going to go ahead and on another controller, since this one's already saved, I can't do anything. I'll grab another one that is sitting at the, the install point and let it sync. And it's going to choose player two. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm going to turn the Xbox off. So I need to have player one sync. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and answer yes to everything, get to that last spot. So the first one was the red one, which is our drop, so I'm going to hit yes. Our second one was the yellow or light green, which is our jitter, which is corresponding to Y, I'm going to hit yes. Our next one should be white or light blue, which is our active reload for Gears of War, I'm going to hit yes. Our next option is dark blue for the X, which is for fast reload for Call of Duty, I'm going to hit yes. The next one is purple, which is the sniper hold red, which is corresponding with the this one, that's how you engage it. I'm going to go ahead to uh, the left analog stick. I'm going to hit yes. And, oops, there we go. And now we are at the, the, the point of no return, basically. It's the last option, which is the burst for A. Now, if you messed up at this point and uh, you are not sure if you choose the right uh, commands or if you answer the right question, you just have a doubt. At this point, you go ahead and remove the battery. we we'll put the battery back in and turn it back on and you're back at the beginning and you can start over but once you pass I'm going to get to it again so I'm going to hit I'm on this one I'm going to hit all no so no 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 
and that is the purple no now this is the point of no return so if you go in and hit no it's saved and that's it it's done you cannot you cannot reprogram it has to be sent back for programming and uh, those options basically so this controller now is at the bare minimum setting so all you're getting is rapid fire um, on the right trigger and you get in all the left trigger option which would be a cambo dual welding so basically all the basic options so you got dual welding rapid fire and single welding rapid fire and all of those adjustable which I explain all the modes later but basically this is the bare minimum setup that's basically that's it and this program and this controller is set to stone cannot be changed it has to be sent back for programming so when you doing your uh, beginning initialized master mode make sure you take your time make sure you have your notes in front of you so you know which controller uh, the customer purchased and what option you want to give them and the reason for this was is to give the modders and the companies who purchase in this PCB from raptorfire.com is to use one PCB board but have the ability to have um, all the options or none of the options so to give the user friendly because um, on other product in the market at this time you either have to install everything and just disable a little bit of the option but not hook him up or you basically get everything or you have a different PCB board made for different options so if you want one option you have one PCB board if you want two options you have PCB board and that gets really complicated and there, there, there will be a chance to make error this basically eliminates all that makes it very simple very easy to use very easy to install and uh, with the master mode you have the ability to give the customer what they exactly they pay for so therefore it's um, basically shortened install time you can actually have all this pre-installed already if you want to hook everything up and just have it sitting at the beginning point of the master mode selection and once the customer tells you I want the following option you go ahead and just answer yes and no and pretty much then you hand them the controller and pretty much that's it. Uh, that was the video for explaining the master mode. On my next video I'm going to go ahead and explain all the modes in detail how to get into each mode and um, how basically set everything up um, and what are the features you get if you have everything and uh, basically explain all that options.